I think. Just just for fun, I will select the USA and support. No, okay, you already have support our party. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I did that when I realized oh, that when we 10%. had so many free spies. Is it ten percent? Have ten percent votes. Yes. But then again, the Communist Go, um, Party has American six boom. percent. Go we're, German American. We're almost boom. rivaling the Republicans. Yes. That's fine. We'll take a silver leading of America. Back then they had, you know, 2% and so did we, but we have uh, crossed them. Our first Panzer Division is complete, but I think we should wait for the rest before deploying them. I'm making all the others seem more threatening, both the UK, the US and the Soviet Union. Hopefully that would Good. help our diplomatic status. Maybe. Maybe. It's a big maybe. But we have... Oh... Sweden is drifting towards Axis, but it's surprisingly more to the common turn right now. Yeah, but I think they're being... And Denmark uh, as well, and Switzerland. Yeah, and Portugal... Where is Spain in this? Spain is thing? right up above Portugal. Right about Portugal, yeah. yeah. Maybe we should influence Spain and stuff like that. Yeah, actually, yeah. Influence, influence nation. Spain. Yes, accept. There we go. That should help a bit. But I mean, yeah, Austria will join us by event. Hungary would be pretty cool to have. <laughs> it's like a collection. Oh, I'd love yes. Hungary. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> I wanna be the very best. That's Hitler singing the Pokemon theme. <laughs> Before Pokemon was even a thing. Oh, dear God. We have now space in our production queue to build stuff in. I'm guessing even more infantry, maybe? Question mark? Exclamation point. Uh, maybe one series. One series. But beyond that, we have... We could build a rocket test site if we wanted. <laughs> but I don't see the point right now, honestly. Oh, we have a lot of artillery brigades. Yes. Uh, uh, have they been completed now? Yeah, I will start assigning them a bit. Yes, for I think there's a bit left, more left but there. So and then what you meant was be... the, the, nec the previous time I was just assigning them to the region rather than the unit. Well, you, you deployed them, but you didn't, uh, you didn't merge them. Aha. Uh -huh. So I need to select them ah and merge. I see. I see the error of my ways. Yeah, but you're learning. You're learning. Well, you're a better human. The next time we play I will be clueless again. <laughs> well, that's good for me. Cuz next time I won't be here to help you. Well, I will be here, but I will be trying to kill you. By playing France. Is that a threat? That is a threat. What, what, what was France's uh, president called again? Um, Dallagier? No. Uh, wasn't it Le Brun? No. Ministers? Albert Le Brun. Yes. Yeah, Albert Le, Le Brun is going to kick your ass. I think Dallagier was later. Kind of like Churchill. Oh, they, they are headed by, oh, like, the PPF and the Action Francais, or whatever it's called, are the most popular parties. Why can't I merge these two units? Infantry Division. Oh, it already has an artillery one. Oh, did you mess up now? Mm, no, I think it was someone else. <laughs> um, hmm. Actually, so where would you place that? I think you did mess up. No, I it didn't. Was I, such I a mean, mess up. All of them has artillery. I think we just have too much artillery now. We need to. Well, we, we honestly, no, you can send them to send them to Kohlberg. Kohlberg. No, we need I, to, I found we one. We need them Kohlberg. We need them Kohlberg. Okay. The, because where, where's that this, Polish border? It's uh, way up in the north. Because we need to ship them to uh, Königsberg. Okay. Because they have no artillery brigades, and we need three. Oh, wait, there's only two left beyond that one. Okay. So we're gonna wait for that one to arrive. 
And soon, Panzer Division, so about to be done. Holy shit, we have a lot of Panzer uh, Divisions underway. Maybe too many. <laughs> no such thing. Uh, maybe not. Oh, to be fair, we kind of need a lot of Panzers. Oh, medium type brigade. There we go. Technology. Medium tank gun and everything unlocked. Let's throw that up into the top of the queue. There we go, there we go, there we go. And when the in infantry stuff is done, we will be ready to start producing mechanized or we need to research them, but we uh, can start researching mechanized infantry. It would be pretty cool. One thing I don't like in uh, when playing multiplayer is that you can't pause with space. Which is uh, very useful. There we go. We have four Panzer Divisions ready. So I will deploy them in Saga next to the previous one under uh, our Lord and Savior Guderian. Put them under a thing. There we go. Hmm. Honestly, they're following the same template, and uh, maybe we should, yeah, we should add them into, you know, a sort of uh, specialized pan uh, panther panther army. Panther panther. <laughs> That's a Company of Heroes reference, a game that we love but haven't really <laughs> played on the channel. On the, the channel, channel. Though, but we have we have had plans of playing it on the channel. Though. Yeah. Maybe there will be more now that we're starting a World War II avalanche. Maybe. If yes, people aren't do. bored to tears with this sort of... I mean, it is a very sort of... It doesn't involve a whole lot of action, this game, in the start. I mean, if, if um, some people Why think, like, Victoria 2 it? is dull in the start, then Hearts of Iron is going to eat your heart out. Maybe. But why have these been joined together? The artillery units? Yeah, in, in uh, Kolberg. I think that was my... Oh, no, actually, no. Because I, I saw that they were together when I sent the other one there. Yeah, right. So that's a bit <laughs> strange. We, will, we should try to fix that later. Can we just separate them? No, no. They will get mad at us then. Don't want that to happen. Okay. We should have... Wait, what happened to the rest of the infantry divisions? We need uh, a three more to send to... Because we need like pretty much an entire army corps and another infantry corps to send to uh, Eastern Prussia. The so they Eastern can act like a spearhead. East Front. By, by the way, we can, while we're waiting, make up uh, plans. So this is going to be a plan right now. Right here. Big dash, no. F medium arrow. In uh, red, yes. So basically, my plan or my suggestion is that we do a, a sort of a. Oh god, this was a very big one. I need, I need a smaller one. Medium arrow. Uh, still a bit big. Medium arrow, there we go. Can I see what you're doing? No. You should be able to see it on the map. Uh, Poland. Battle plan is right. No, 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 on the map, Poland. Yeah, yeah, but no, there's nothing. Nothing so you can't on. So you can't see uh, the current uh, things that I'm doing? No. Can I share it with people? There we go, share it. There we go, sharing. Uh, still Shared nothing. with none. What is going on then? Hang on. Current plans. Video plan, <laughs> new plan. Okay, so do you have show show high the current battle plans? Uh, the icon above the battle plan editor. Where is that set up? Uh, show hide. It's literally the button above the one where you, cl you click to open the battle plan editor. Oh. Uh, show hide. I've clicked it. Doesn't help. Hmm. Where, well, I can see everything that's going on. Don't, don't. So basically, I'm gonna. There's gonna be some tanks that will be going from here, here, 
here, here, here. Yeah, there, there we go. A lot of tanks. Yes. Add tanks too. There we go. Tanks. And tanks here. Tanks, tank, 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 tanks. So you're drawing for yourself. That's basically Well, I'm, I'm drawing for you too, but you're unable to look. That means you're drawing for yourself. Maybe. And, you know, it is already a border here, but I mean, in case people can see the border, there is a new border. And the plan is, is, is simple. We first do a small push with infantry along these lines here. Across the entire border. Like that, and do a pincer move here. And then do a big sort of in, um, artill not artillery, god damn it. Armored push toward Warsaw, and the war is done. And then <laughs> close off all the other armies in a big sort of uh, encirclement. There we go. We do have a bit of an advantage perfect. on Poland, considering we have like two ways to attack them. But usually they try to like go for Eastern Prussia quite a lot. Do they? Yeah, I mean, their, their plan tends to be like to uphold the defenses in the on their western front while they sort of try to ad take advantage of the um, of their numerical superiority in uh, around uh, eastern prussia that's why you won't let them have a numerical superiority the plan is perfect but you, you can still can't see the battle plan no this is really weird yes Uh, rename, save currently, selected battle plan. Oh well. I can see it and, you know, everyone else can see it, so... Your loss. I'll have to look at it on, on the YouTube video later. Yes. It's just uh, basically, uh, imagine a bunch of tanks in uh, Eastern Prussia and in Silesia. And then two big arrows moving toward, from, from both places moving towards Warsaw. That's essentially it. Right. So why can't I divide this into new units? That's really annoying. Maybe I can uh, do some uh, switcheroo here. As soon as this unit is reach Marienwerdel. I mean. I think I'm mispronouncing pretty much every single place. <laughs> Most In Germany likely. as well. There we go. There we go. It worked out. Your mistake. Uh, stop being a mistake. You're forgiven. Even though I'm not certain it was your fault or mine. Probably mine. Hmm. Another Panzer Division is getting done. I mean, it's, it's funny how sometimes you need so many units and you don't have enough industrial capacity for most nations. And as Germany, sometimes you're like, hmm, I have too many things. I have too much capacity in my country. I have too much capacity, exactly. I don't know what to do. Honestly, this this uh, battle map is highly distracting. I'm going to hide it. I know it in my head. Okay, national unity is up to 93%. That's very good. How goes our diplomacy? Yep, Austria drifting, drifting. Oh shit, that wasn't good. Ah, oh, I'm... 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Ah, whatever, they can be like that. Yeah, how's it going with... Um... Oh, I should probably try to influence Japan a bit too. I don't really think you need to do that, they will join eventually. I just wonder when their war will start. I always forget when. Should be fairly soon. It's 1937 at least. You can mean, be later than that. You mean Delhi. literally the Second World War? Or? No, the Chinese-Japanese War. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. that's somewhere in 37 or 38. Yeah, we are in 37. So we have pretty much two years left until we can actually start the invasion of Poland itself. And the scent is increasing, is it? No, it says zero zero. Oh, well, if it re if the descent, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that before. 
like every uh, level of descent decreases our IC capacity by 1%. What's descent again? It's right next to National Unity. Uh huh. Looks like the infamy uh, icon in the other games. Yes, almost, yeah. It's uh, you can re reduce it by you know overproducing uh, uh, consumer goods, which I did at one point and then forgot about it. <laughs> so I wasted quite a bit of IC on nothing. There we go. We're starting to have. Uh, we are uh, preparing the units that are going to be sent to uh, to Königsberg right now. There's going to be some eight divisions in total. Which most likely will involve uh, the AI increasing the supply lines to the... Right. But we need at least one Panzer Division to Blitz to Warsaw. Where are the, all the VP? Uh, Danzig is one. Krakow is one. Lodz. That's uh, Grodno. And there's one way over here, but we don't need all of them. What's Poland's national unity at right now? 70%. So we need 70% of them. Well, I mean... So we pretty much need the western ones. And we should be done. I think. Okay. You could add a new battle plan just for that. Just for my, my own head. Icons, combat icon. Grodno. Holy shit, this is a big one. Danzig. I have no idea Warsaw, what you're doing. Lords. And Krakow. And Lvov. Well. No, you don't know, but everyone else of importance does. I'm gonna see if this overlaps. Yeah. So basically what I did with the battle plan is add you know, a battle plan with markers on all the victory points. So I don't have to look at uh -huh. victory point map mode all the time. Clever, clever. I, I, I am smart at times. I have my bright, bright spots. When is yeah. this? Is a sort of. Uh, do, do you remember when Hearts of Iron Four is coming out? Oh, it is coming out next year somewhere. I'm guessing they're. Um, I think they're hoping for, you know, like um, spring. Yeah, something like that. First quarter. Will be interesting to see the differences. I think, I mean, I, I think this game could you know, like has a very high potential, but it's just a matter of like the interface and like simplifying things. Uh, another another problem for me is the amount of micromanagement. It's too much. Like I love the whole build. Like I can, I could spend so much time, you know, in detail designing my entire army. You know where all the divisions should be. You know which army corps, what the army corps should be named, what leaders they have, and stuff like that. Yeah, I can see myself spending a lot of time on that. The thing is that when the war breaks out and you move them, and then eventually you know you have some divisions that are so detached and you're confused. Okay, how will this work out? And when you have to reorganize everything for the next war, for example, for when attacking uh, France and stuff like that, it just is a pain in the ass. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm hoping that it increase the capability of the AI, because leaving things like that to the AI could go... It could go well, it could also go completely horrible. <laughs> and unwell. Yes. But yeah, we'll see what they end up doing. I'm, I'm excited for it. Okay, so the infantry is done. They should be under... Different core, you move them here and then start to transport them to a Königsberg. But yeah, did you, did you want to be? Uh, you were supposed to be in charge of the the, the tanks and the <laughs> armored push into Poland, right? Um, sure. I think we can. If of you if you that. think you can handle it, yeah. Just uh, because that, that's the good thing about having tanks and everything like that separated from the main stuff. Yeah, I haven't really been involved. You have to remember that I haven't been involved at all, like where you have assigned them and everything. So I have no clue, like where all the Panzer units are. I mean, I can see that there's a an HQ in um, Lauban, and that we have some divisions attached, I suppose. No, I have no idea what's going on. Which is Lauban? Where is Lauban? 
Oh, it, yeah, that's the... Oh, yeah, that's the army, Panzer army. And there's two Panzer Corps under them, which are both assigned to the Eastern Front and, you know, near Silesia. Yeah. That area. So that's everything, is it? That is everything. Okay. 